I'm Peter, and welcome to another edition of F5 Dev Central's Lightboard Lessons. The consolidation of point devices in your data center can help with cost, complexity, provisioning, management, and troubleshooting. Being able to consolidate point solutions can help make your infrastructure more efficient. So let's light up some of the various services that you can consolidate on Big IP. Consolidate. And I'm going to try to do it in the proper order as it enters into the data center to the application. But depending on your infrastructure, the steps may differ. How's that? So let's uh, start with our client out here. And the first thing that you can consolidate onto Big IP would be a forward proxy or a next gen firewall, forward proxy. Client connects to the forward proxy and then the proxy will then establish a connection out to the internet on behalf of the user. If you missed my what is a proxy video to learn more about proxies, check out that Lightboard lesson. So next gen firewall. Next, if we go in a little bit more, D, and S and DNS services. So you can have Big IP be your authoritative answerer uh, for your DNS queries. Also provides a DNS firewall for things like DNS DDoS attacks. In addition, you can do the security extensions for DNS. So the DNS sec to secure your domain all the way up to the top level root. Next would be things like distributed denial of service or regular denial of service. With the increase of volumetric attacks, there's, there's no stopping uh, denial of service attacks. And you can protect your infrastructure from DDoS attacks on the Big IP platform or use our Silverline services and send those requests out to the cloud. So we got DDoS. Next, acceleration and optimization, along with caching. So you can optimize your traffic, whether it be for client side or server side. Also accelerate. Make sure that you're using your bandwidth efficiently with Big IP. That would be your application acceleration module, if you were wondering. Next would be like things like malware and bot defense. So our web safe and mobile safe, you can, you can encrypt and protect your login parameters, your username and password parameters. You can help protect against man in the middle attacks, along with ensuring those client connections and other sorts of connections that malware isn't being transferred uh, back and forth within your infrastructure. Along with using solutions like the IP intelligence service, which will block known, known bad actors, known networks, known botnets from ever even, even touching your infrastructure. Let's come over down here. Next would be a layer four firewall. Big IP is an ICSA certified network firewall, helping protect against all of those network layer type attacks that are coming into your data center. Now, you might not know this, but application layer attacks, and we'll get to that later, um, are more common than network layer attacks, but having a layer four firewall right in there and within your DMZ can help eliminate the need for your own uh, firewalls, terminating the DMZ, and then separating the DMZ from your internal infrastructure. So an ICSA certified firewall. Next, let's look at SSL off loading. So you can decrypt traffic that's coming in, do your SSL offload on Big IP. One of the things we've been doing for such a long time, and it helps uh, take that computational intensive processing off the servers, put it onto Big IP, and let Big IP do those, do the offloading of SSL. Now you can certainly re-encrypt 
to the back end or do clear text, but let Big IP do your key management certificates and the SSL offload. On top of that, with the SSL offload, we can do things like protocol and cipher enforcement, ensuring that it abides by the RFC, among other things. So we got SSL offload. Next is an identity gateway or authentication proxy, whatever you want to call it. But authentication and an ID uh, identity gateway allows you to do such things as single sign-on. You can exchange SAML tokens either as a IDP, an identity provider, or an SP, a service provider. You can do OAuth requests, open ID, things like that on top of just the various Active Directory, LDAP, Radius, uh, and those sorts of things type of support, ADFS, etc. for the identity gateway. Next is a VDI gateway. So deliver your virtual desktops through the big IP proxy. It supports things like your VM, VMware, the Horizon View clients, the Zen app, Citrix Zen app, even Microsoft RDP. So deliver your virtual desktops through and protected by the proxy. Let's keep coming down one more layer. So along with the VDI proxy would be a VPN. So Big IP Access Policy Manager is an SSL VPN being able to establish encrypted tunnels between your remote employees and your corporate network. It's encrypted, it's optimized, it's secure. So a VPN right there on Big IP. And then we got our web application firewall. So Big IP, APM, Big IP Application Security Manager. ASM is your web application firewall. So you got your, where'd it go, where'd it go, where'd it go? Your layer four firewall here and protect your layer seven. HTTP, HTTPS, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right here at the web application firewall layer seven. And then we get to your app locations. And so we got, let's see, now by no means all, not certainly not all of the things, but some of the primary services that you can consolidate, we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven on big IP. So you get traffic management, security, access, and optimization all on a highly programmable platform, big IP. So thanks for watching. If you like this Lightboard lesson, please subscribe to DevCentral's channel. And uh, thanks for watching. I'm Peter, and we'll see you in the community.